I'm Charles Strong III of Strong Counseling Solutions, LLC. We offer on-site counseling in Gretna, Louisiana, and board-approved online counseling throughout the state of Louisiana. For PLPCs seeking to become licensed, we offer supervision. And for mental health rehabs, we offer services of assessment, psychotherapy, and consulting. In an earlier video, we worked to find a calm, safe place for you to use if you begin to feel overwhelmed or caught up in negative emotions and thoughts. We were able to identify a safe place and a word to go along with it that described the feelings that you felt while there, or the imagery. Hopefully, if you tried this, you've been able to practice it a few times to strengthen that connection to your positive memory networks. So we're going to add to it today and learn a little more from the technique. So once you've got your calm or safe place in mind, close your eyes and return to it. And while you're there, just be. Just notice what you're feeling, what you're sensing, and the word that describes the feelings or the image around you. Now once these positive feelings have returned with this imagery, place a hand over your stomach or your chest, finding where your breathing begins. And just notice where the breath starts in your body and what it feels like. Take a few deep breaths, just notice where the breath is starting in your body. And open your eyes. Now just now you should have been able to identify your calm breathing pattern. And as you become more stressed, usually your breathing patterns move higher in your body. So if you start to notice this, be sure to bring your breathing pattern back to that lower, more relaxed level. When you practice your calm or safe place of visits, pay attention to your breathing, and in doing so, you'll have a better idea of how to use your calm or safe place and recognizing when you might need to visit it. That's our talk for today. Hope you learned something or found something interesting. You can find more videos like these on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or Twitter. We'll be back next week with a new video. So until then, thanks and be well.